It's International Women's Day and we come to you from the air traffic control tower of the Chennai airport and the entire operations today are handled by a team of women controllers. They are handling all the 200 plus flight landings and takeoffs. And ma'am, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, sir. Congratulations on the International Women's Day. How does it feel to have the entire airport under women control today? Sir, I feel really proud because uh, actually this is not something which we are uh, doing something new. But uh, today as part of Women's Day, entire units of our air traffic control is being controlled by women. It's a matter of proud for us. And uh, we really thank uh, each and every one of our male colleagues also uh, for supporting us like this. And uh, yes, being part of air traffic control is always wonderful for me. And you interact with pilots both during landing and takeoff? Yes, sir. Yes. Actually, tower controller mainly, as you have already discussed with uh, the tower controller before. Tower controller interacts with the uh, pilot while uh, taking off and landing and this is a different unit which is the surface movement control and surface movement controller basically interacts with the pilots while they are taxiing that is while they are on the ground and we have other clearance delivery position which I am doing right now. Here we are issuing the clearances for the aircraft where we are basically uh, mentioning the flight level of the aircraft, the air route and the destination all those information has been passed to the pilot. So yes. What's if I can speak to you? Uh, what's the larger message you're sending when women handle ATC operations completely for one full day? Uh, we are so proud about this and then it should continue and more women get to enter in this. And uh, women should be empowered in all the departments, in all the ways. And I'm proud to be a woman. Break the bias is the theme for this year? Yes, sir. It should be. And uh, women should come and all over, the, all over the society development, it all depends on again the women empowerment. It's not only about the women, everyone to be educated and to be given the full freedom and to, to choose their own life. So it's also with me, Ms. Priya Banek, the supervisor, thank you very much. How does it feel to have the entire airport under women control today? It is nothing new for us actually. <laughs> now since there are so many women controllers working, uh, it is very often that we come to see that so many women controllers are sitting and all the male controllers are off channel. So it's nothing new for us. What's the message you are trying to send today? Uh, the message that I would like to give all the young women nowadays is that none of the areas, none of the arenas are stopped. Any gender can come to this work, work line because it's a white collar job and it's a very uh, exciting and a very different kind of job. Most of the people are not aware of what we do over here. The public is not aware of what we do. So if you can do a little bit of research about what ATC is about. In other countries, ATC is valued as a very important profession. It is a very important profession here as well. But the people, public is not aware about it. So I would like to give them this message that please become aware about it and come to this profession. It's so a very when should students, young students, uh, start preparing for this? There is nothing, special preparation is not required. You can do your basic graduation in physics and maths or you can complete your engineering in any branch and then you can apply for this job. No specialized kind of uh, preparation is required for this job. Lastly, the theme for this year is break the bias. Where should this ideally begin? This should begin at the grassroots level when the parents teach their kids at that time only they should not make any kind of distinction between a boy and a girl and they should teach them equally. Teach them to go for anything that they want to go for. The sky is the limit. With me, Sivaranjani. Yes. Tell me, the theme for this year is breaking the gender bias. Where should this ideally begin? Uh, it should begin from uh, of, I mean, parents generally. Like, uh, and uh, we ourselves should uh, believe in ourselves and uh, come up uh, for this. So, right. yes. It's exciting to see women in these roles now. Do you think it's also equally important that you also reach positions where you make decisions, you take decisions? Yes. I'm really proud and privileged to be in such a uh, work uh, where I can make a decision on my own and uh, we have to take instant decisions, so, which is uh, very important for this job. So I'm very privileged to be in this job and uh, I think uh, many more girls should come forward for this. Right. And I, I believe that many more girls will come forward for this. What's the larger message you're sending today? In Airport Authority of India, uh, we all the female controllers taken very care with all the facilities. There is no bias, gender equality is ensured. This is the Airport Authority of India of uh, mission and uh, mission also. Are men worried that soon you may become jobless? We don't think so. We don't think. <laughs> we don't think so. Equal, equally, uh, it is uh, projected. And what's the uh, breakup 
how many members you have totally and how many women you have in that? Uh, you can say that one third of uh, Chennai, the total strength is uh, 250, approximately 259 uh, total controllers. I'm out of it, uh, almost uh, 69 or uh, female uh, air traffic controllers. Approximately one fourth? Yeah, yeah, you can say one fourth percentage. Joining us now, Mr. Muthu, the general manager, air traffic management. So thank you very much for your time. In terms of the breakup of women in air traffic control, are they still less in number and why? It appears to be less in number, what you say, sir, but actually it is not. Rather, it is increasing and every recruitment we get more number of uh, uh, lady employees. Rather, they are volunteer and they are happy with that. And this spreads the good news for all the people. We will get more number furthermore. Actually, air traffic control is something challenging one. It's not meant only for one particular gender. It is applicable for all. And they are doing much better than others also. Are you worried soon they may take over your position? Why? They are part and parcel of me. There is no difference. When I can take over their channel, why not they can take over my channel? It's, 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 it's. For younger aspirants who would like to become air traffic controllers, when should they start preparing and what, is there any exam they should clear? How do they? That's a good question because uh, generally people are interested how to get inside the air traffic control. It's nothing but, uh, see, they should do their job and studies properly. But for that matter, once they clear their uh, minimum graduation level, whatever it is so, they have, to, they have to appear for the exam, clear it, interview, clear it, and we'll be providing them the training for one year and we'll place them in the by, unit. By, by exam, you mean which exam? Competitive exams. Port Authority conducts exams for them. You can see on our website, www.ai.aero. You can see that website as and when in the career portion, they'll get it. Is it only for science graduates or anybody? You know, it depends on the whatever the uh, I mean, position they are likely to. For ATC, we go for the uh, engineering graduates. Now science also, there. it, it uh, frequently sometimes changes. They should go for the site and get the correct information. It's certainly a special day and this team of women controllers hope their message will inspire many youngsters to choose this as a career option. At the Chennai Airport's Air Traffic Control Tower with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.